though. This is how much I'm in my room, don't take any notice of what's going on downstairs. My mum and dad actually aren't here right now, they're going to see a show. I look like a ghost woman. I have clothes in my wardrobe and actually hang it up because that's something that I don't do. It looks really nice, look, honestly, there's nothing better than literally fresh bedding. I hate cling film. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've literally decided like 10 seconds ago to pick up my camera for a video because I'm bored, my boyfriend's at work and I want to do a chill evening vlog with me tonight. This jumper is my boyfriend's jumper and it's honestly so comfy and cozy. Like today he was at college and I was like, by the way, just thought I'd inform you that you're not getting the jumper back and he was like, fine, I don't want it, it's too thin anyway. So I was like, oh good, because I quite like it. Basically, this is what I do, like, it's actually really cheeky of me, but like, so when he comes over mine for like sleepovers and stuff, like I'm like, like don't take your clothes home because I'll wash them and then you can cap them and you let's come over here. I wash them, put them in the drawer and I'll just wear them and I never give back to him. Today I thought I'd do like a chill out vlog with me because I feel like I haven't done... I can't even say that right now. I literally did five of these vlogs last week. I haven't filmed one in like a week and I'm missing it a lot guys. For once, I'm not home alone. My parents are here, everyone is here actually, but I'm just like really bored. It's just gone six, it's half six, my new YouTube came out half an hour ago. I've got a hiccup, so it's really painful. <gasps> my phone got fixed today, and I'm so happy that I've got a brand new screen, there's no ink on it, it's not glitchy, it's not spazzing out. I was getting to a point the other day where I was literally so close to throwing my phone out the window. I had to get rid of my roses, my boyfriend bought me for Valentine's Day. They did last a long time. They lasted a good about, I'd say, about two months. So that is a lot longer than roses are meant to last. We're meant to literally have them for like three weeks and chuck them away. We need to take a little moment just to kind of acknowledge yesterday's day. Yesterday was a very, very sentimental day to me. Yesterday was my four year anniversary on YouTube. Like, honestly, I cannot even express how just, just saying that sentence feels to me like, I am generally over the moon and so grateful to still be doing this um, passion and hobby. Four years is quite a long time to have a consistent hobby doing. And this isn't just any hobby like football, like rugby, like netball. With social media being a hobby, you kind of have to stay consistent to keep to keep you happy. And if you want to if you want to succeed in it, you have to keep consistent. So it's a thing that I've just there's been lots of ups and downs with this journey. But either way, I've come out stronger and it's been worth it. And when I get to my end goal, 100,000, I'm going to thank myself for keeping going and powering through the pain. We're going to put my workout up on my TV and quickly go ahead and do this 15 minute cardio um, hit workout. This is just a very quick and easy workout I do. It's like easy to follow along. It's not too hard. It's not too easy. And it just gives me the right amount of really fitness I need um, a day to just feel like I've achieved something really. Quickly go ahead now and work out. I'm going to be out to you guys, I'm about to go downstairs and make my protein shake and yeah. Okay guys, my workout is all complete now. Buying like batteries for my camera has honestly, oh, um, it's honestly been the best decision I've ever made in life. Well, if my camera died when I was filming, that was me done. That was me, okay, filming complete, over with. I've now got to charge my camera and wait an hour to continue filming. Now I've bought these, is when my camera dies, I literally take the battery out, stop it with one of these, and then boom, I can continue filming exactly where I left off from. As I'm gonna have dinner, like, not long, I'm not gonna make, like, one where I'm gonna like, add banana, oats, blueberries, all that kind of stuff to it. I'm literally gonna do one where I literally just get the cup and actually add water and protein powder to it. Add in salted caramel flavour. I'm just gonna add two scoops of this. Once in there I'm gonna shake it to get salted caramel has got to be one of the top favourite flavours. It's just gone seven o'clock so now I'm going to sit here and upload all my YouTube shorts. I really need to spruce my room up. There's like a big pile of all my boyfriend's clothes down there. But that to me just stresses me out. 
because there's like piles so like there's a few piles on there of towels stuff that's close and that's close it's just generally just that stresses me out this is how i used to live right i used to have like this mountain of pile of clothes basically whatever i'd wear that day if i was getting changed i would take my clothes off and chuck it on the floor the next day getting changed for the very day take the pajamas off chuck it on the floor gradually if you can if you can spill this you can see this pile building 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 up it nearly got higher than my bed I kind of got to a point where i was like i can't deal with this more like honestly seeing this mountain of clothes on my floor is ridiculous and my drawers are my at this time all my clothes were in my room so literally my drawers were right there and the pile was right there so now i try and keep my room tidy so much so i have some new shorts and uh, i don't know if i can shake i'm now going to put on my red hoodie i'm going to spruce my room up and then once we've done that we're going to change my bedding and then once we've done that we're going to go and have some have dinner i just got a message come through and um didn't know this is how much i'm in my room don't take any notice of what's going on downstairs my mum and dad actually aren't here right now they're going to see a show because i thought we had a full house but no my mum and dad are out down on my floor around here i've got a pile of cl clothes this goes back in my wardrobe this is my boyfriend's jumper that i'm gonna put in my wardrobe there's another one of my boyfriend's jumpers <laughs> that needs to go in my wardrobe one of my jumpers some flares I want to wash. This is my aunt, boyfriend's. Basically, the whole, all that stuff, all that fl floor was actually all to put away in my wardrobe. Pile of clothes in my wardrobe and actually hang it up because that's something that I don't do. Here's Savannah cleaning the kitchen. Now, I was going to do that, but she's beating me to it, so I guess I don't have to do it anymore. You can so tell in this dressing room what wardrobe is my sister and what drawer is mine. So, this wardrobe is my sister's wardrobe. Look how colour coordinated it is, neat it is, and then that's mine it's just messy i was gonna like time lapse it but it looks really messy i'm gonna, I'm gonna time lapse it hanging my clothes up i'm gonna really excuse the mess like i'm pretty sure anyone who has a dressing room just knows it's literally just like a storage room for laundry and baskets and boxes and all that kind of stuff <laughs> Look how look how full my wardrobe now looks. It actually looks like this. All my jeans hung up, all my jumpers hung up. Just, oh, it looks so much more full. Like honestly, life makes a difference when you actually hang things up. Part I'm actually very excited for, if I must say, putting new bedding on your bed is like literally like oh, amazing. This Xbox is really annoying me. See, see, moved. I'm gonna lean against my wall. It's not even plugged in. However, fun Xboxes are. They're just so big and ugly. When my Xbox is downstairs, my room looks so nice. There's no big chunky black box in the middle of my floor. But when it's my room, obviously it's nice because Tom can play Fortnite while I'm sleeping. But like, really? It just looks so ugly. Anyways guys, my room looks really tidy now. My bag is all ready for tomorrow. Honestly, nothing better than sleeping in fresh bedding, fresh sheets. Quickly strip my bed, so we're gonna quickly just take off my duvet i love making my bed changing my sheets and making it all fresh and clean it's honestly something i really enjoy doing my boyfriend on the other hand absolutely hates it like he has to be asked like a thousand times for his mum to ask him before he actually does something which is something really tricky about him because i'm like just do it like would you rather just do it and people to be happy or like have to be asked a thousand times to do it and people can be angry and shout at you like why would you choose the second option like honestly just why Right, we're now going to take off my sheet and we're just going to... So, we're now going to get out my sheet. I don't think anyone knows how excited I am to literally do this. One other thing about a sheet is I never know which is the long size short side because they all look exactly the same. So, like, this is a bit what I'm like, uh I'm not changing because 
they're just plain white anyway, so it kind of goes to the bed. Now I'm gonna unpackage my actual duvet. First of all, you've got to open it all out. You've done this, we're then gonna put the duvet inside out. We're gonna do the exact same what we did. Grab the two corners. I'm gonna grab one corner. I'm gonna grab two corner. And then, I look like it comes forward. I'll be Halloween. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the two corners of my bed which I just got ready for me. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to be shaky. Honestly, it actually makes me quite ever so miss a single bed because single beds are so much easier. My bed's all made now. My bed's all made. It looks really nice. Look, honestly, there's nothing better than literally fresh bedding. Guys, let me take a little fresh bedding. I love it. It just looks so nice. Just pure white bedding. We're now going to make yourself dinner. It's my boyfriend. I just can sense that my boyfriend's texting me. Like, it's the same ringtone for everyone, but literally, when, when it's my boyfriend, I just know. I might make bacon and pasta with cheese with chicken. Right, last time it was pretty technical cooking pasta and a salad, but this is like bacon, pasta, chicken, salad, pasta. Pretty technical. I want to open these olives because I really love olives. I did you see like um, something that I really love in here? What I love, garlic cloves. Yeah. But like in the sauce. Oh, okay. So good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my favourite job, do you know what? This job I would choose to do over anything in the world. Chopping the chicken. And to put the chicken in, we're gonna use this. Cut the chicken. I need one to stab it because I am no way touching chicken. Oh, the texture, I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, first of all, the chicken isn't even. Well, I'm gonna wrap the chicken up now in cling film and put it away. Cling film is one thing that literally frustrates me so much. It doesn't work how I want it to work. Like, what is this? Oh my god, this is actually just stressing me out. I hate cling film. Oh, I don't know what, I might use foil. Foil is, foil is just something that works. Isn't it mad how like, if you eat chicken like this, you're literally gonna die. If you eat it by being on fire for like 10 minutes, you'll survive. My finger just touched it. Mm. I don't like it. <laughs> this bit looks really grim. It's just absolutely minging, mate. Oh my god, why is it like bleeding? <laughs> that leg. Guys, I, it, it looks like jelly. Ooh, ooh, looks like a jellyfish. This whole bit of chicken I'm not eating, I refuse. Is this oil? Is this oil? Let's have a look. Oh, but it's oil. Ah, God. I'm gonna the chicken first, and then turn the hub on. Ah, it's sticking. Ah, it's spitting. I actually hate it, I actually hate it, I actually hate it. It's going golden on top, so that means it's cooked. So I'm happy. Like, I quite like it to be overdone and underdone, because I ain't risking anything, mate. Do the bacon now. And um, we're gonna do three slices of bacon. Cause then I'm gonna chop it up. One, two, three. The chicken looks literally golden. So this is like how I know it's properly cooked. We're then going to get out the pasta. I'm really scared. It's spitting at me. I mean, I'm gonna put the pasta on. Literally, this pasta looks like nothing, but trust me, pasta expands. I am never cooking bacon on the hob ever again. Bacon sorted, the chicken sorted, the pasta now just needs to go on. We're getting somewhere now, guys. While we're waiting for that, we're going to quickly chop up the bacon. And then we're gonna add all the chicken to it as well. 
That's something I'm going to put straight into the bowl. Do you know what? Perfect amount. Butter it. You guys, last time I did so much pasta, I literally like could have dished up three people. First of all, get a big dollop of Philadelphia. Like, but I mean dollop, I mean dollop. Put it in there, and we're gonna mix that Philadelphia. You guys know I'm great. This is just way greater. We're gonna grate some cheese on it. I'm just gonna mix all that cheese in and let it melt. Taste, test, got a bit of chicken, pasta, and bacon. Mmm. It's nice. A little bit dry. Bacon, chicken, pasta, cheese, Philadelphia. Well, I'm going to post this video right here because I just wanted to do a chill evening with me. A bit of a different evening. We changed my bedding. A little chit chat. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and just like to see for me next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.